Welcome back. It is still cold here in Japan. It's February. No, it's March actually and we're coming into spring, but it's still cold. I think it's time to give you guys an update on the rice fish mini ponds because we haven't checked them out in quite a while and uh, we've kind of slimmed down. We've got now three rice fish mini ponds. One right here. This is the largest one we've got currently and then two over there and you can see the other ones that we had are now empty we moved all the fish into these two and this one uh, just so that we can I don't know manage them better and this is like our water change tub where we fill in water in we don't dechlorinate but after a few days we'll use this water to just like top up we don't really do water changes we just top up uh, the water that evaporates but during the winter months, December, January, and February, we put acrylic lids on top of the rice fish ponds. And you can see the reason why I don't show these ponds during the winter is because they look pretty nasty. Like if you take a look at this one, this one also has some has a lid on it, but you can see how nasty it is. And you may be wondering, where are the fish? They're all in here. You can kind of see some of the white ones in there they are all in there they're just at the very bottom here's another one slightly up at the top but they're all hibernating so it is really really cold yeah uh, february is the coldest month and we get temperatures below freezing and if we don't put these lids on the water will freeze it doesn't freeze all the way to the bottom but the surface freezes uh, but all the rice fish they are perfectly okay they will just go down at the very bottom and just hide down at the bottom it's a little bit warmer it's not that warm but it's warmer than the top so that's where they'll be and they do just perfectly fine I've been getting so many questions about rice fish and it's really simple around here we don't do anything like special to care for these fish and these fish are the, the ones that we get are super cheap or free we get them from friends so uh, if we're keeping like high-end high quality rice fish that's like almost like a hundred dollars per pair then probably we'd keep them differently but these are like the ones we have are a few cents each when we purchase them we get like a group of 20 for a couple dollars so we just put them in here and let them survive and my uncle loves to feed them he feeds them every day during the winter we don't feed them that much maybe on the warmer days we'll put some food in and they will come up mm, <laughs> December January and February they will stay just just like this in dirty water uh, hiding at the bottom if I stick my hand in there I wonder if we'll see more of them let's try that so let me take this acrylic lid put it somewhere here and you can go without a lid it's possible I've done it before the water will freeze but the fish will be okay take a look at this guy I'm not sure how well you can see him, but little black rice fish, really nice looking. Today is one of the colder days, it's not super warm, but let me see if I can... Like there's one right there, it's hard to see because of the glare, but... Oh, here's a few now. Let's try to bring them out here, yeah, there's a red one. Yeah, so you can see they are in here. They just like to stay at the bottom because it's warmer down there. Once it gets warmer, we're going to uh, do a cleaning on these, do a water change. Let's take a look at this one. Oh yeah, I see them in there. Let's see if we can bring them out. Oh, here's a nice one. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. I think that's a blue one. Like a sparkling blue. Here's some more. Got some black ones. Some white ones as well. And you can see all the plants are dying, but... Well, they're dead. 
Well, not really, because you can see some new growth starting here. Uh, in the next few months, everything's going to start growing again, and I'll definitely update you. We just really leave these alone, and you can see no filter. We don't have any substrate in here. We do have some, I'm not sure what you call this. It's like Akadama clay substrate. It's not a soil or a, yeah, it's it's a hard clay substrate. So you just have a little bit of that, but these fish really don't don't require much care. We just leave them outside. No filter, no heater, no CO2 for the plants, no light, just the sunlight. And you can see now, it looks really ugly, but wait for the update that I'll do in a couple of weeks time and you'll see it's going to look insane and we're going to set up more uh, because during the warmer months they will breed and we can get more of them out. So let's take a look at this one. I haven't looked at this one, but yeah, you can see the lilies are also all melting because it's so cold. All right, this one is much deeper, so I'm going to pull up my sleeves and see if I can get any out. But the water is freezing. That is cold. Look at all that filamentous algae. All right, so I can't get any of them to come out. They are at the bottom. I felt some of them, but they're not swinging out. It's a... Uh, it's really cold. I just stuck my whole arm in there and it's freezing. So I'm going to put this lid back on for now. This one here is empty. There's no fish in. Uh, as I mentioned, it's our kind of like water change bucket. You can see all the water hyacinth has died off. Uh, we're going to leave it in here, see if it'll come back. It might come back, it might not. But we're just going to leave it in here. We, we haven't, as you can see, we haven't been doing any water changes. Zero water change whatsoever. Um, and, like, no top-ups at all. Because we have the lid, there's very little evaporation. You can see in just three months, only very little has evaporated. So, yeah. Another question I get asked a lot is about predators. Whether birds and cats will come here and try to steal the rice fish and eat them. We've never really noticed that. We do get birds here um, that come and eat oranges. We also do like to feed the birds oranges. They'll come up here, eat this, and it's really cool to watch. And I do post some videos on this on my Instagram, but they don't, they never steal the rice fish. So that's really nice. Um, I'm not sure why. Maybe the birds just aren't interested in rice fish. Uh, we do get cats that roam around here. But they also don't go after the rice fish, so really no problems for us. It's not going to be the same for everyone, I guess, but you just got to watch for yourself, observe, and see what happens, really. And if, if you do get predators, try to find a solution for it. So yeah, I just wanted to make a quick update uh, showing you guys how the rice fish are doing. They're doing okay. This is how it is every winter. Uh, we just let them be. You can see they're all super healthy. But they just slow down, so... We leave them alone. Rice fish are super hardy. I get so many messages uh, on Instagram, on YouTube, asking how to care for them. There's nothing special you need to do. Really nothing at all. They can handle extreme hot temperatures. Uh, here we get during the summer that go up into 40 degrees and the water is hot. It is warm to the touch and it's quite crazy how, how, um, how hardy these fish are. And during the winter, as I just mentioned, we get freezing temperatures. So these fish handle a lot. They are found in the wild here in Japan. One day I do want to go and see if I can find rice fish in the wild. It's not as easy finding rice fish in the wild now as it was before uh, because mostly because of invasive species just destroying the rice fish population but i think there are still places with rice fish out there so that that is a goal i'd like to do in the future um, it's going to be pretty fun seeing rice fish in the wild and if they can live in the wild 
then why not in outdoor mini pond? Just know that rice fish are super hardy. They can tolerate almost anything. But if you guys have any questions, just comment down below. And I'll try to help you out. One thing is, these are cheaper rice fish. So, like... We, we just leave them outside but if I'm if I'm talking about expensive rice fish uh, like those ones that goes for over a hundred dollars a pair or more even I probably wouldn't keep them out here like this because I'd be scared to I, I wouldn't want to lose them so I'd keep them indoors and stuff like that try to breed them try to reproduce them but because this is just mostly for fun it's for my uncle's enjoyment uh, he loves feeding the rice fish and they seem to do well they breed for us every summer so yeah, just just have fun, I guess. But as always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.